soon as it became clear that we were in an emergency and a crisis, ICPC in March issued an advisory on response management to COVID-19. This was issued late in March. We followed it up by setting up a monitoring committee to monitor the use of contributions and funds during the emergency, because we know that emergency periods could trigger a higher level of corruption. Thirdly, we appointed observers at the request of the PTF to focus on some key MDAs who would be involved in procurement in response to COVID-19. We followed it up by issuing some prevention guidelines, which were not mandatory, but basically took from existing financial regulations and the extant rules and laws to guide MDAs about what we will be doing that will be closely looking at what is going on. The, attorney, the Accountant General's Office, followed by issuing very comprehensive framework for the management of COVID-19 funds under the Treasury single account. We're happy that that office is in the meeting room and we'll be hearing from them first. We, ICPC since last year has had some collaboration with the National Social Investment Office that is responsible for conditional cash transfer and the school feeding program. And we noticed that there's been a lot of debate about the practicality or otherwise of the proposals. Uh, this period to continue their activities. So I'm happy to inform you that the Federal Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development are also in the meeting room and they'll be speaking on their strategy on the conditional cash transfer and also the school feeding program. Just as ICPC issued its advisory and set up a monitoring team and also the prevention, the recommended prevention guidelines. The Bureau for Public Procurement also issued some guidelines to assist MDAs avoid default. We have also invited the BPP there in this meeting room, they will be speaking to stakeholders on what they did and what practical measures. Now the essence of this meeting, which was initially conceived to guide our own operatives across the country in doing their statutory duties of monitoring COVID-19 funds. But it became needful to bring in a number of stakeholders, especially civil society and the media, to also be able to interrogate some of the measures that are being taken in response to COVID-19, especially the use of public funds and contributions. So the majority of those who are within the meeting room are from the civil society and from the media, apart from ICPC state offices. Somebody has asked the question whether or not this conversation can be reported. The answer is yes, it can be reported. We have a number of media people within the meeting room and we do not intend to censor what they wish to report of this conversation. That's the response 